In the next seven minutes, you'll see me go from looking like a hobo to looking like a classy individual or something like that, I don't know. Go. So for the first several days of this week, I still had the tiny chickens. This is what happens when you have two friends who are both biology majors and who want to get into medicine. You when you're sick, you never go without any kinds of meds. I don't even know what half of these are. So Jesse, want to show our viewers what you did? Well, I was saying Pinterest over and over again, and Trey deemed that Pinterest sounds like a Pokemon. And so, I mean, it had to exist, really. So here's it's our like rule 34. Here's our Pinterest Pokemon. And her bot they're exclusively female, mind you. And her body is made out of like, you know, knit yarn. Baka baka. So all day today I've been resting and watching <laughs> and watching MLP. And now after dinner, everyone decides to come and visit. Jesse. There's like Jesse and Taylor's over there. I don't know if you can see that. And Scott. And I Luke. live here. Yeah, Luke, Luke's not really visiting, but thank you, Scott. And once the tiny chickens were gone, we decided to create a fraternity. The tiny chickens have left, sort of. Most of them have left. They've, hey, hey, Will. The tiny chickens have left enough to where I can venture outside and get some food at Fountain, so we're gonna go to Fountain. I'm excited. I also went to my classes today, which wasn't as exciting, admittedly, but still pretty exciting because all I've been doing is laying in bed with tiny chickens. We're a self-proclaimed frat! Yes, and the news is that we are officially a frat because I'm Greek and I can deem it a frat. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not a complete liar, but you know. It was Will's idea to make it a frat, but I'm Greek, so I can make it official. What what should be our our, uh, our letters? I, I like the idea of having pi and phi because we're all nerds, and those two are very nerdy numbers. Theta. Theta. Pi theta phi. Pi theta phi. Pi theta phi. It's pi theta phi. Pi theta phi. Then I had a physics lab in which we got to play with some fancy equipment. This is what Trey decides to do at one in the morning. I just wanted to practice it a little bit. This is another reason why we do physics. Why? Well, miss it. We get to do fun stuff wow. in labs. I, suddenly camera. Huh? Yep, you're like, oh god. Nice. Did you break it? No. You didn't break it? Okay, that's good. And we listen to some singing, if you call it that. So do you guys want to explain the situation first? Okay. okay. We're raising money for Habitat for Humanity. We're with Shackathon, the Greek Unity Shack, and we're Tigers. So yes. and you're paying Tiger us team. dollars to sing anything you want. Hold on. All, right. All on you. So I'm trying we'll to think. Anything. Songs. Okay, if we don't if we don't know it, we're gonna butcher it. Terrible. Yeah. We may borrow one of your laptops for lyrics. Hundred yeah. words song. <laughs> that okay. I want you to sing Uptown Girl. I'm really joking. Oh okay. <laughs> mute the music. <laughs> It's an uptown girl. She's been living in her uptown world. Bet she never had a backstreet guy. Bet her mama never told her why. Also, we determined that going to Fountain at 3 o'clock in the afternoon is a bad idea. I just thought Luke had to play Magic the Gathering. Return to Ravnica this week! Ah, so excited! Going to Fountain at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday is a bad idea. They have no selection. This is pretty much the extent of what we have to choose from. And Jesse's ice cream got complimented even though it's, you know... Not good. Not that great. It's because she chose the muffin top route instead of the spiral route. Yup. Now it's a perfect ice cream cone because she was innovative and used Captain Crunch to make it awesome looking. Get a side view of that too because it looks like hair. <laughs> That's funny. And then our friend Stephanie was in a play. She did an excellent job, as always. And then we toured around UNC a little bit. This gives me hope for the world. And it's also on this side. Oh, that gives me hope for the world. So we're here at the Haynes Performing Arts Center at UNC Chapel Hill, visiting our good buddy Stephanie. Yeah, we're here out of our element. Uh, we don't like the color scheme. That much. Yeah, the colors we're not yeah. digging. It needs more red. <laughs> See if I can do my gender proud. Lumber up. 
<laughs> what happened here? Um, this is where those things usually sit. What things? These right here. Oh. And it's like our like free expression tunnel. See, if you really want to say something, you can just ride and talk. Yeah, there's that. There's a lot of that at stake because there's so much brick. It's like everything's a canvas. Yeah, everything is a canvas here. Our whole lives are a canvas here at UNC. <laughs> and you must paint your that, dreams that's, upon them. That's a beautiful quotation. I'm I'm gonna keep that. Something about a mustache is Cameron Diaz. <laughs> and Trey decided that he had to go blow the whatever the hell this is. It's a horn. He wants to toot the horn. It's a horn. I don't know. Try. I don't know. I'll go over to this side and see if I can <laughs> if I can hear it. Yeah, All right, hit her up. Hit her again, Trey. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. Yeah, there she is. Did it really work? It worked. Cop stash. And then we got back at around 1.30 and had to ride the bus. We just got back to NC State and it's currently 1.22 a.m. on Monday. I have a calculus test tomorrow in my morning class. So we have to wait 20 more minutes um, until another bus shows up. 1.56 and we're vlogging on the bus. Yeah. Jesse. Done. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this week's vlog. Until next time, this is Trey with Y2X4 Studio signing off. Bye.